We're going to use the midpoint rule to approximate the area represented by this integral. And again, we're going to approximate the area. We're not going to get the exact value. When you approximate, you're not going to take an antiderivative. You're just going to use basically geometry uh, and equals 3. Okay, so let's first draw... This function is pretty easy to graph, but I'm not going to graph it. I'm just going to draw the x-axis from 1 to 10. And I'm going to break it into three pieces. Now, the length is b minus a, which is 9. So b minus a over n, which is 9 over 3. And that's 3. That's the width of each uh, rectangle. So, oops, not 3, that's bad math. 4, 7, 10. So we got 3, 3, 3. So each width is 3. Good chance your problem is not going to work out with integers like this. Uh, but don't worry, just be very careful with your decimals or fractions here and you should be alright. I'm about to have fractions in a minute. Alright, midpoint rule. So, I need the middle of each of these. And between 1 and 4, we average 1 and 4 to get the middle number, so it's 5 halves. 4 and 7 is 11 halves, and 7 and 10 is 17 halves, so I got fractions too. Alright, this function is just a square, 2x squared function, so it vaguely looks something like that. That's a <laughs> Not a great graph, but good enough. And we want to get the y values right here, and that'll be the height of each rectangle. So our function is 2x squared, and I want to take 5 halves and f it, because I need to get the y value. 2 times 5 halves squared is 25 times 2 is, well, let's leave it as uh, 2 times 25 over 2 squared. So that'll be 25 over 2. We're going to take 11 halves and F it. Whoa. That should be a 2. 11 squared is 121. F of 17 halves. I do not know what 17 squared is. Probably should have looked it up beforehand and pretended. Oops. I don't need to do 11 times 11. Got that. 17 times 17. Boom. 289. That would have not been my first guess. Over 2. All right. These are the y values, and all you have to do for the area, uh, this is an approximation, it's not equal, so I probably should use the squiggle equals. So I'll go a1, a2, a3, alright, what is a1? These are all rectangles, so it's base times height. All of our bases are 3, now the heights are what we just computed. 25 halves. You can definitely factor that 3 out. And this is the approximation for the area of this integral. I think, believe they're looking for the decimal here, uh, but this should give it to you.